Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Edmonton, Canada. And today I was going to show you how to use the Kite Delight stamp set. So I picked this up a while ago, but I've just started using it now. That's kind of what happens when you buy a lot of stuff. You end up using it. You try to save it and then you're like, oh my god, I haven't even used this yet. So I'm going to be using this today. Um, I have made a card with it already. So this is the one we're going to make today, but we're going to use different colors. As you can see, I've kind of ruined it here, and so I'm not going to be able to use this. I left like my stamp pad open, and then I... Yeah, it's making me really sad, but it's okay, because we're going to make a new one. So, I'm just going to see if there was... I did make another one, too. That I could show you a sample of. So I made this one, which is also really fun. And but I like this one better. So we're gonna make this one. All right, so if you're gonna be just doing the simple part, so you could just take a note card which measure which uh, measures three and a half by five, and you could just do the stamping on there, and it would be a really easy stamping card. But if you wanted to step it up, then you could add the paper in the back and the card base. We're gonna start from the stamping, and then we're gonna step it up um, towards the end. So I've just got a little piece of paper here, uh, white cardstock, three and a half by five in size and we're just gonna start stamping. So I'm gonna start with this stamp, which is the kite with the flowers, and we're gonna stamp it right about there. So for that, I'm gonna use my black memento ink pad. And you're just gonna ink that up. Now you're gonna see when you stamp it in just black and white, it looks really boring. Okay, so this is gonna go right there. Isn't it pretty? Okay, I'm just gonna grab my chamois, clean that off. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a masking technique to stamp the other, um, the other kite. So this is the other kite we're gonna be using. And all you need is like a post-it note. So if you have that, you can do this. Um, so I think I want mine. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp the bottom of that, just so we know where it's gonna line up. So that's going to happen in black again. And when you're doing this, make sure you look at this to see that it's glossy and inked up properly, or else you're not going to get a great image. Okay, so sorry, I just got to get right under here to line this up. And it's going to go just like that. Okay, so that off. I really like um, that they give you two different kinds of strings for your kite. So the other one has bows on it. That one's really pretty too. Um, okay, so just make sure I don't have ink on my hands. Now I'm gonna take my little my little kite and I want one that's going to go like this and this one is going to go maybe like or maybe even just like that. Okay, so you're just going to take your post-it note and cover up this side of the kite. Actually, I'm going to get a new one because then you can see through it. Okay. There. Now you can see the kite right through there. So when you're stamping, um, you know exactly where it's going. 
So I'm gonna ink up that kite. And I'm gonna stamp it just like that. Then when you move this, see, it's like it's underneath. I'm gonna stamp that one up again. And we're gonna do the same thing. So this time I want it like that. And just like that is fine. There. So now it looks like the little kites are under the big kite, which is kind of fun. And you don't have to cut anything out to do that. All right, so I'm just gonna put my black away. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color the kites. So last time I used Fresh Freesia and um, Night of Navy. This is so saffron, and I'm just going to do the centers of these flowers. Oh, one in the corner. And then I'm going to do my flowers in pink. And yeah, I'm using light polished pink here. Just color those in. So because we used Memento, we can use our Stampin' Blends on top and it's not gonna smudge anything because water doesn't mix with alcohol. I don't have a big collection of Stampin' Blends, but I do really like them. They're $12 each for two, for a set of two. So you'll get like the dark polished pink and then the light. Um, yeah. So they're a little bit pricey if you think about it. Okay, so now I'm using my light night of navy to color in the background. And these do seep through the paper so if you were going to do this as a note card, you would want to put something behind it, like a panel or something, to cover up the ink that's bleeding through on the back. And I'll show that to you in just a second. Okay. So that's done. Ooh, it's looking nicer than I expected. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take my pink again, or sorry, my dark polished pink, and I'm just gonna put like a dot near the center of these flowers, like at the base, just to give it a bit of shadow. There. And these mix so nicely together, okay. And then I'm gonna take my dark polished pink and I'm gonna kinda just go next to these black lines to make it look like this is a pink, pinkish colored kite. I wanna say tent, but I know it's not tent. Okay. Same thing. Um, you can do it on the other side too if you want, but I feel like when you just put the ink on one side, um, it makes it pop a little bit. And I'm just putting this line to kind of separate the two, um, the two kites.
Oh, this one has like nothing on it there. And there. Okay. So that's done. Now I'm going to do these stars and dark so saffron. So I'm trying to decide what colors to get next. I have about, I want to say 10. Um, 10 sets, maybe. Maybe more. Maybe 12, actually. Yeah, that one's the light. Okay, so we don't need that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is stamp our sun. I just got to grab that. Still have it in here. And I'm going to stamp the sun in Daffodil Delight just to make it stand out a bit. And it's going to come right here. Okay. We're going to do the cloud next. The cloud stamp is actually really cute, and I didn't expect it to look the way it did when I stamped it. Okay, and we're gonna do the clouds in Night of Navy. One's going to go up here, just like that. One's going to come right there. And I got to wipe that off when I'm done, but, and one's going to come right here, like this. Okay, so there's my cards. I better get a baby wipe before I get ink everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe that up. And I'll leave that there for a second. Okay, the last thing we have to stamp is the greeting that's going to go on there. And I believe I have it out already. Yep, yeah, I do. Perfect. So it says, your friendship is so uplifting. And we're going to put that on the bottom. So I'm just going to make sure that's dry. Okay. And, you know, on the other one, I did it in navy because um, the purple color was a little bit light. But on this card, I'm going to do it in polished pink. Gonna ink that up and stamp it right there. There! And we are done. So, if you were doing just a simple stamping card, you could just use a note card like that and you would be done at this point. You could stamp the inside of your card. Um, if you want to step it up a bit, you could um, put it onto a panel. So I'm actually going to do that. Just grab my... Actually, we'll put the panel on the card front first. So I'm just using basic white here, the thick basic white. And I'm just going to score this. and then I'm going to put my panel so I've gotten this paper this is the only um, sorry this is the only paper I had designer series paper and polish pink so I was like all right this is what I will be using it's always great when you can use up 
your stash. Okay. We could use some there. Maybe there. Okay. So you want to completely center this. So this is just so it's four by five and a quarter inches. On just like that and then this part I want it to be on dimensionals so we'll just grab those and throw them on I am running out oh, there's one more put that in the middle there Okay, I'll save that one. I won't put so many. This is a nice thick paper, so I think it'll hold its weight. Okay, so um, from the two sides, like on these two sides, it is a little bit of a wider border, and the top and the bottom is a little bit smaller. So it's an eighth of an inch on the top and the bottom, and a quarter inch on the sides. Just gonna center that and push it down and then this would be like I guess the mid-level card um, if you want to step it up even further you can add some iridescent rhinestones and a bow I'll do a bow so I'm just gonna straighten this out There we go, here's my bow. Just cut it and to put it on, I'm just gonna use a glue dot. The easiest way to do it is to put the middle of the bow on the glue dot and then peel the glue dot off and then just stick it where you want it, which is here. So there's my bow, and I will put my rhinestones on too, because it's not fun without rhinestones. And let me just find my tweezers, here they are. Okay, so where do I want them? Where did I put them there? You can kind of just stick them on anywhere doesn't really matter but sometimes it's fun to kind of make a pattern out of them so there's my card I hope you like it um, there is one more thing you can do if you really wanted to um, on this one I did stamp the inside so what I did was I took the kites and I bent it a bit and then or the string of the kites and then I kind of made it look like the kites are all flying around so I will do that in this one too but probably not on the video because it's getting too long. <laughs> but if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. And I will be back next week with another video for you. Um, if you want to purchase the Kite Delight stamp set, I will link it under this video. I'll also link any other supplies that I've used. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thanks for watching.